Hi guys, so I'm here to do a quest by some people and because um, some of you are asking me to show you guys how I design my iPhone case and things like that and just to clarify I did actually design the phone myself, I bought the materials myself and things like that because someone commented it and said um, that you can buy the exact same phone case on YouTube but you can't because I did it all by myself, I mean I wouldn't lie to you guys and say yeah I made this um, I mean what's the point but I literally did made it myself and here it is again that's the front it's just got clear rhinestone gems all on it and as you can see there's a missing one there and I'm going to show you guys how to stick it on like what's the technique on how to do it and then at the back it's just pink 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 all over it's got flowers and stuff like that and then like for can you see glitter on that one I don't know if it's, come on, it's got glitter on this one and I put glitter on the tips of that one and I did that myself, I just put clear nail varnish on the roses and then I sprinkled some stargaze glitter on it which you can get from um, New Look that's what it looks like um, you can just like make your own really and that's what I put on it um, and it's just got clear rhinestone gems and clear ones but it's got a hint of colour on it um, it's got flowers and stuff like that and that I got it from a necklace, a charm necklace from River Island that came off, that it fell off. That one's from a ring and then like all the rest I bought it from that little kiosk stand and stuff like that. So here's the story, I went to this um, shopping centre and they had a little kiosk stand where they have like, and they can blink up your phone case for you and they offer like you can buy phone cases from there. I think they only do it for iPhones. Um, so that caught my attention. I went over to it and there was like a spinning shelf with lights beaming onto their display, like examples that they did. And I thought, oh my god, that looks really nice. And that made me want to have one. And they had loads of different patterns. I had Hello Kitty, hearts, leopard pins, and things like that, stripes. And what you do, you choose your colours, choose your designs, choose your like little roses, and then you come back in an hour and it should be done for you. And the phone case cost £5, and then all together it cost £45, which is really, really expensive. I wanted a blue one, and then I picked out all the stuff that I wanted, and I, want, I chose the pattern that I wanted. And um, I was so disappointed. Here's the one the lady did for me. Um, looks really, really. It doesn't look as bad on camera, but in person it does look really bad, and that's what it looks like. And as you can see, she didn't even bother making it nice like the patterns, just randomly stuck on. And then at the back, she, um, had roses and bees there, but I took them off so I can use it on my pink one. And that's what it looks like. And here's like a sheet, as you can see, like a sheet like this. She didn't even bother them um, sticking it into the centre. So here you got like a thick chunk of clear ones, and then here you got nothing. Um, and the case is really bad quality, it slips off really easily and it's all scratched on the screen so this this was a waste of money so I really wished I just um, bought the stuff myself the first time and just did it because I honestly um, recommend you to do that because if you do it yourself you know what you want, how you want it to look like and you've got time to do it carefully and in the end you'll get better results because they've got an hour to do it so they're rushing it and things like that so that was a waste of money and I really want to say that I'll I don't like it, can I have my money back? But then that's kind of cruel and I don't want to be mean, so I bought it anyway. So a couple of days later I went back to the kiosk stand in the shopping centre and then they ran out of boo gems and um, so all they had was pink ones, that's why mine one's pink, but I really wish it was blue or something like that. Um, not really into pink. Um, so what I bought from the store, I bought um, a pack of these and this has just got clear and pink gems on and then I bought a pack of these ones this was the same size as this um, I think these cost £6 each and as you can see they've got they're clear but they've got colour on them she recommended me to get this one because she said it looks more realistic and more blingy like so I bought that and then I also used my old um, gems from my iPod that I showed you on my um, what's in my purse bag ages ago and this is my iPod and as you can see it looks really tattered because I took the dark pink gem gems off to stick onto my phone and then like for the tiny tiny gems I ripped those off as well um, when I mean the tiny gems they're smaller than these ones to fit into the nitty gritty areas so oh yeah, and like all this everyone said where did, I, where did I get those gems from I got it from um, Carphone Warehouse which is a mobile shop in England and then like for this flower bit right here you can see that them flowers right there I bought these sheets they're on sale they're 99p and they're from WH Smiths which is a what's it called a stationery shop in England they've got different sizes and they're sticky 
but um, you do have to put super glue at the back for secure hold. And then like these, you know, all them hearts um, right here, that pink heart, those came with a big sheet. I also bought a big sheet, it was about this big, and it came with all the hearts. I randomly stuck on, came with the hearts. Um, what else? Came with the heart and then like these size gems right here. You can see it, it's stuck on behind a heart, but it's got that one. Um, they also came with gold bits in it as well, them gold ones, but I didn't use it as much because it, it didn't look right, so I just stuck it onto the flowers to make it more flower like, like the, right there. Um, they also gave, came with pearls, I don't know if you can see them pink pearls in there. And then like the casing, I didn't buy this at the kiosk stand, I bought it from the Apple shop, I can't remember the price of the case, but I'll put a link somewhere there or something like that, oh battery's flashing. Um, and then this is the case, this is a plain one, it's by the brand Incase, I-N-C-A-S-E, and what it does, it just slips off like this, and I prefer these cases rather than like these clear ones and things like that, because I think the clear ones looks a bit, not tatty, it just looks really messy, like in my opinion, how they're all stuck on there as well, I think it looks perfect like this, like a frame, and it's just sucked up into one, and it looks much, much neater in my opinion and um, this material is like um, a rubbery material and just just to let you know the gems will definitely fit on this rubbery material it doesn't need to be plastic like this or definitely fit and um, stick on and then like um, to give you ideas like you know these right here the flowers um, I got them off this necklace I bought from River Island ages ago and it fell off um, so if you've got any old necklaces you can pull the gems off and stick it on I mean here's a really nice one, this one's a crown and then as you can see there's like a little hoop up there and what you can do, what I've been doing, I just pulled it off you just pull it off and then that, that little hoop there what you can do is cut it with a um, sharp scissors with a big scissors and use an nail filer and file it down like this and that should make it have a smooth tip and you can't even tell so here's an idea what you could do or if you've got like old necklaces and stuff like gems that you don't want to use you can use something like this um, again this is from River Island but this is too nice to um, take apart um, or you can like, I don't know I mean I've got an old earring here like a blue one you could just do something with that as well you can stick anything on there and anything you like and then I've got a hair bubble here, I thought this would look nice like to stick somewhere randomly like a gem and as you can see on the gem can you see they're like got points on them so if they've got points they won't stick on because it's not a flat base so what I did with this pink one I just got you can't see it on one of the sides it's flat can you see it's the one on this side it's flat and what I did, I just did the same technique and used a nail filer and filed it down flat and that would stick onto you, that can stick onto your phone. But I've got nowhere to put it because it's jammed packed so I left that out. You know around this heart I got little chains, I did that myself, what I did I took apart an old earring that I had, but this is a bracelet and then you just take them apart like that take it apart and then I just wrapped it around the big heart. Um, how I did it, I just randomly stuck them on because I think if it's randomly stuck on it looks really nice rather than being in line together like this. It just gives it more that, that expensive look and things like that. See right here a gem's fallen off so I'm going to add that back on. Can you see this little gem on the table, right here? And then I'm just going to get my toothpick and it's got a really, really dirty um, blue tack. Well, it was white, but now it's just gone black because I've been using it a lot. So what you're going to do, you're just going to pick it up like that. I don't know, I'm not going to, because if I go close, it's going to blur out so you can't see, but I'll do my best. So it's on there right at the moment, as you can see. Then I'm going to use my super glue, the runny type, not the gloopy type and then hopefully you can see what I'm doing just pop a blob of glue on the silver backing don't overflow it get your phone back and what you're gonna do is just place it where you want it so I'm just gonna pop it right here hold it down for a bit twist the stick so that it comes off and then I, now I can't remember which one I stuck on I think it's this one and then what you want to do you can just press it down with your finger or whatever I hope I'm pressing the right one down. I think I am. You can see glue around it. And there you go. 
good as new stuck on so that's basically what you do